no idea how long it's taking me to set up for this video, mostly because of my hair. And I'm shedding, which is a recurring theme. So we're just gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with my hair looking like this and whatever. We're gonna get started. Hey guys, it's Carol here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I've got my favorites for the week for you today. I'm really excited about that. So we're just gonna dig right in. And I'm gonna show you what I've been loving this week. So the first thing I'm super excited to show you is the original, can you guess? The original Beauty Blender. So I've been wanting this thing since I first heard about it because um, even before the Beauty Blender came out, I've always loved the using the fingers as applying my foundation. Um, because of the look and the finish it gives. It's like this really natural look to the skin. Um, because even if I used brushes, I would always kind of go in and kind of tap around just to make things just kind of pressed. And maybe that's because I have dry skin. I don't know, but a lot of people love this beauty blender. I'm really fortunate. My friend Julie surprised me with it one day. Um, you all have met her through Keek. And if you don't know what Keek is, I'll leave my link down below and you can click on that and see what it's all about. But she surprised me because I've been doing her makeup and I've always talked about this and I kept telling her, you need to get it, you need to get it because I've been using the um, beauty, just the regular triangular shaped beauty sponges. Just these little cheap um, triangular shaped ones you can get anywhere. Um, I happen to get these from Walgreens. They're Studio 35, comes with eight. It was like three bucks for all these. Anyways, still give the same finish. So if you can't afford or for whatever reason you don't want to spend $20 on this, this is what I was using before. Now, which do I look better? I like this better. Here's why. While I do think these do the trick um, as far as like the finish of your foundation, concealer, whatever you're using it for, the Beauty Blender is so much faster. Okay, so um, first of all, the shape is just like perfectly shaped to do everything. So what I typically do, I have applied it like my foundation with it, but what I still do is I'll apply my foundation and then I'll go in and just kind of press. Um, anyways, there's a lot to say about this Beauty Blender, so I think I'm gonna do a comparison between just these sponges and this and why, you know, all the reasons why I like this more. Um, because there's a lot to say about it, but yeah, the shape is just perfect. The density of it is perfect. It just bounces off your skin. Um, and it just makes everything, it makes my application process so much faster. The concealer, the foundation, it makes it so much faster and it still gives that really nice pressed flawless effect. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, if you wanna see my foundation routine using this, um, maybe like on one side of my face and then using this on my other side of the face, I can really give you an idea of why and what, what a big difference it is for this $20 one then just give me a thumbs up if you don't like to comment or comment and let me know because I've been really excited. I think I was like, I really want to do a comparison and show you all a, a routine with this. So yeah, let me know how much you would want to see that um, because your feedback is really helpful as far as prioritizing my videos and which I do first and stuff like that. So make yourself heard. All right, so I had, I usually use this Neutrogena oil-free moisture, facial moisturizer. Um, and they have like an SPF 15, which is the one I usually use. And then they have an oil-free one, which I really like. I like them all, and I've been using them for like over a decade. I usually use this, the SPF 15 or the oil-free. Well, my friend Mallory, I saw her pull this baby out, which is also Neutrogena, but it's their Healthy Skin Facial Lotion, SPF 15. And this is supposed to have multivitamins, facial treatment with alpha hydroxy. Now, she loves it, so I'm not... I'm not saying it's a bad product. It's just I have sensitive skin. And what I noticed right out the back that I actually didn't... Uh, like about it. It was that it smells like perfume and I do have a tendency when things have like a perfume scent to them or artificial scents to them that I will break out or I'll react in some way. So I started noticing um, I had had a breakout before and that was because of some makeup products I had been using that were new in my routine and then um, I broke out again. I'm like dang it why the heck am I getting all these pimples because I'm not one to really get pimples now, I was at blemish prone when I was younger, but I'm 20 now now, and my skin's different now. I have like a dry normal skin. Back then I had like an oily skin. Um, so now when I break out, I know it's because I'm allergic to something um, or my skin's not liking it. So I was thinking, what have I done different in my routine? Thankfully, this was the only new thing I had been doing differently in my routine, so I couldn't use that. So I went back 
like I've been giving this to my husband to use because it's not a bad product. I do like Neutrogena. I just reacted to it. So I went back to using this. Now what I don't like about the SPF 35 is that it has, well, even SPF 15 does have a sunscreen smell, but this one has even more of a sunscreen smell. However, my skin doesn't have a problem with it. It's just my scent preferences. I don't like the smell of sunscreen. So if you don't like the smell, smell of sunscreen either, I wouldn't recommend getting the SPF 35. Maybe if you're like me and you can kind of take a little sunscreen smell, the SPF 15 is, 15 is fine for me. Um, but I, I love this line from Neutrogena because I don't break out. It reminded me of why I don't like to switch up skincare too much because I will get pimples. I don't like mixing too many things in my routine because I want to know, I want to have a product isolated and know what's doing this to my skin. They're alcohol free, fra fragrance free, hypoallergenic, and they don't clog pores and they're really, really nice. So I'm really appreciating that back in my routine. Another favorite this week is Barely Beige from the Maybelline Color Tattoo line. And it's just a champagne color. I've been using this uh, every day on my um, eyelids as a base. And it's perfect for summer. So Barely Beige, Barely Branded, any of these, whatever they have out right now, I recommend it as a base for your eyeshadows. It's great. Also, been loving. Um, this is new to my routine and I love it. I'm so sorry you can't get your hands on it anymore unless you go to Big Lots or Dollar Tree. Some of them um, have been known to still have some of these, which are the Blushable Cream Sticks from NYC. I love these cream products. Um, this one gives a really, really pretty highlight. I am wearing it today. If you can see anything, you'll see it right here and that's what this is. Um, I love it. It's a golden champagne highlight. It's beautiful for the summer. I love these blushable cream sticks, so I've been loving that as my highlight this week. And then as my blusher and bronzo, com bronzo, bronzer combo, I've been loving Urban Spice, also from the blushable cream sticks. So this is what I've been using as my bronzer and blush. So it's been doing the trick for both of them and it's been saving me time and routine. So what I do is I just take my stipple brush from Real Techniques, dab it on and go like that. So if you wanna see me do it and get ready, let yourself be heard because this is how I prioritize my videos and what I'm doing next. So been obsessed with these. Oh, thank you Susan for sending them to me. I wanna say hi to her daughter, Noah. They watch my videos, her little daughter's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, I wanna say hi to her. Hi Noah. Um, and thank you for watching my videos. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show you, you've heard about it a lot, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. I have this in a tutorial a couple videos back. I have it in probably my last weekly favorites. I've kicked about it. It's the Brown Eye Candy Shimmer Strips from Physicians Formula. I've been loving these three colors right here. These two right here, those are them. And this champagne color as the base. They are awesomely pigmented. Yeah. They have a texture similar to Urban Decay's eyeshadows from their Naked palettes, and these are cool toned, which I absolutely love cool toned for my fair skin, brown hair, and brown eyes. Perfect for me. I've been using this, I, yeah, every day this week, and the one day I didn't use it, I regretted it. I just love it, it's fast, it's perfect for summer, it's beautiful. I raved about this in my product rave video a couple videos ago. It's Milani's Tropical Fiesta. This is shipping, but I want to show you the color. Um, so check out that video because I don't want to spend a lot of time with it, but this was definitely a favorite this week. It's a favorite overall. I love Milani's nail polish formula. Awesome. So check out my product rave so you can hear all the details about that. Something that isn't new, but I'm still obsessed with it. I'm wearing it today and it's this combo. It is Rimmel's Pure from their Exaggerate Lip Liner line. That's what that looks like. It's a beautiful hot coral color, hot pink coral. Beautiful. So, so pretty. And I've been pairing it with Tutti Fruity from the Revlon Lip Butters. I just love it. Mixing these two, I put this as a base and then I put that over it. And I get this beautiful hot orangey red color. I love it. Matches with my shirt. I know I wear the shirt a lot because I love it and whatever. I love it. Okay. Last favorite for this week, and I haven't mentioned this in a while. This is, this was sent to me by Prissy. I'll leave her link down below. Thanks, Prissy. Chrissy. Prissy, I love you. So thank you so much for sending this to me. Prissy knows I'm like so intrigued and in love with Lush products. So she sent me the, what is this called? It's a bath bomb. It's a lavender bath bomb. I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. It's a lavender scented one. 
So basically with these bath bombs, you I just take off a little chunk, a little baby chunk. Some people take off like a third or fourth of it, but it's a pretty big bath bomb. So I just use a little bit of chunk and I put it in Xander's bath. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to enjoy baths so much for myself. But the smell so soothing and relaxing. It smells so nicely like vanilla, I can talk. Like lavender. And it actually transforms the water and it makes it like softer and the smell is not overpowering. It's just perfect and tranquil. Love it. So thank you, Prissy, for that. And thanks a lot for making this. That's it for my favorites this week, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And let me know if you have any thoughts on these products for yourself so everyone can see that down below as well and see your opinion. Um, and that's it. I'll see you in the next video. And again, let me know what you want the next video to be. Talk to y'all later. Bye.